On the Tuesday of April 9, 2024, the new government of Senegal, that was formed on the Friday of April 5, held its first ever ministerial meeting in the banquet hall of the Palace of the Republic in Dakar's Plateau district, an event marking the beginning of a new political era. And during the ministerial meeting, President Basiru Diome Faye expressed his confidence that this tight-knit government embraces the major axes of his project for the people of Senegal. That is, a project revolving around African integration, reform of various institutions and the administration, an efficient and resilient economy that's supported by transparent management of public finances, a Senegal that tends towards full employment, and decent jobs for all, food security, promotion of national industrial champions, education and training that is aligned with the needs of the working world, as well as efficient and affordable health system among other things. It's for this reason that the head of state asked the government to prepare three draft laws, with the first legislative project concerning increase of the powers of the prime minister, the second legislative project aiming to delete the Economic Social and Environmental Council, and the third legislative project aiming at also deleting the High Council of Territorial Communities, for a replacement of these government bodies with reformed ones. And as you may already have guessed, the youthful president is seeking to increase the powers of Usman Sonko, who is the Prime Minister, because Sonko is the man who he believes will help him achieve the objectives that he has set for his administration, since they drafted the current government's manifesto together. After the meeting, the president took a photo with the ministers at the Palace of the Republic platform, before various ministers proceeding to speaking to the media, and while at it, many chose to speak in Senegalese local dialect, that is Wolof, instead of French. Anyway, if you found this video to be interesting, leave a comment on the Sonko Diome administration, and don't forget to subscribe before leaving because more updates on what's happening in West Africa are coming.